What's up, everyone? I want to take a minute to talk about a trade that was on my weekly watch list that I put out for you all every Sunday. I'm going to talk about how I managed it and how to catch the tops, okay? So this is a very important video. It's a lot more in-depth than just, you know, a trade recap. This is about catching the top, all right? What you're looking for. So let's just get right into it. I'm just going to give you my thought process as we go. So this is QQQ. If you remember from my weekly watch list, we had this trend line, right? We was waiting for a break of that. But unfortunately for us, it broke. Sunday open, retested during pre-market, early pre-market on uh, Monday. So ideally, this would have been the setup we took, right? That would have been the trade to enter. But, you know, a lot of us were sleeping. So what happened is we finally broke down. And if you zoom out here on the hourly, you can see this 478.3 area is support, right? Previous support, now term resistance. I drew this zone out. Ideally, I like to take my trades based off resistance inside of supply, right? So that's what I was looking for. I was looking to identify that supply on QQQ, you know, the most obvious resistance level. And a lot of times this will happen. You'll push up above it, then come back down and lose it. That's when I like to take my entry. I don't always like to take it with the initial touch, right? So we came up. Let's go to the five minute. I'm going to show you exactly what I saw and how Team Boy and I caught this exact trade. So I told everyone, I said, I've seen this coming back out, right? We clear sign of weakness here on the five minute, right? We're selling off. You know, NVIDIA had been strong all day. That was holding us up. Had a lot going on, right? I told everyone, I said, you know, if NVIDIA starts selling, you could see a nice move down. I'm going to go short. Once we get below that 478.3, I had a nice push down. We entered here. We honestly, there wasn't much drawdown. It just made a nice move down. Uh, still going down. I took the uh, QQQ puts from 0.75 to 1.40, which is an excellent return on your money, especially uh, you know within an hour. Like where else can we lay down our money, pick it up an hour later, and you know we've gained uh, that type of percentage gain. There's nowhere in the world. So when I'm looking to time these tops, right, I'm not trying to pick the very top every time. Yeah, I like to have my sniper entries, but when you get into these bigger supply zones, you have to be patient. I don't want to be entering in here. I want to enter once we clear this level, that real nice, obvious 478.39 area, that level kind of added confidence. I knew that was a clear resistance, uh, previous support level. You can see it on the hourly and the four hour. It's a beautiful trade. That's the second win of the day for us inside Team Bull. The first one I called out on voice, it was NVIDIA calls. They did really, really well. I think we closed them out at $150 profit per contract. Worked out really nicely there. We actually can take a look at that and talk about what I've seen there as well, if you would like. I told everyone I was looking for an open range break to begin with. But we had data approaching. We had 10 o'clock data. So I told everyone, I said, okay, I'm going to wait until this data drops. To get in calls, you know, in case you know, in case we have some kind of negative effect that push you down, or, uh, stop you out for no reason sometimes. But anyways, the data dropped. I seen what I wanted to see. We got into uh, we got into calls. Let me pull up the VWAP really quickly. Let me add my studies in. We got in calls here. We never lost VWAP. We played this all the way up to 123, then 124, then uh, up here around 125. That's where we got out of this trade, a little bit above that. We managed this trade beautifully. I love seeing Team Bull. You know, it was almost like a lot of them didn't even need my help. You know, they're, they're learning, growing, and that's what it's all about. For me, it's just not about providing trades. It's, it's kind of the education behind it so they can find their own trade, trade their own levels. That's what I go for. So I just want to give you all this short video. Hopefully these tips help you out, especially when trying to catch that top entry for puts or uh you know, short whatever you're playing. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Drop some content ideas in the comments, or you can DM me straight on Instagram. That's the best place to reach me. Hope you all had an amazing day trading, and I'll see you next time.